what's up? Wow, for the amount of sleep that I've not gotten, I look pretty well rested. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Or Your shirt is too short. That or the lighting is perfect. There is Vettel. Shut up. Oh, that's her name. You don't know her name. Her name is Vettel. Don't be putting my damn name on the internet. <laughs> and we're going over to Benihana's. Benihana's like one of my favorite restaurants because I love Japanese food. I'll probably eat sushi today. You can't really be a fat ass at Benihana's. Really? Really? You can't let you share. He's a dumbass. I'm not. I'm not, I swear. Eric! Say bye to the vlog. No, I'm mean, gonna vlog at Benihana's, so be quiet. Exactly. You're gonna see him at Benihana's. Let's go. I just wanna point out how he has Pascal on his shoulder. He had it for his costume. He's basically bought that and had. Pascal tag along with him wherever he goes, including to Benihana's. He's like, uh, basically the whole get the camera out of my face pretty much look. But yeah. This is honestly one of my favorite parts of Anihana's when they do this with the onions is absolutely awesome. If I was a child, I mean I am a child, I like literally I get super excited when he does this. Like you're gonna see him right now. And this thing is like basically a volcano. Some of them make it with fire, but this one's like kinda like just steam. Maybe the fire got a little too much. But um yeah. Look at this. And go. Whoa, 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 look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a black shirt. I'm not wearing a dress shirt. I'm not wearing, wearing a tie. What the heck is up with that? So today we went over to Benihana's. Benihana's is actually one of my favorite restaurants. It's Japanese, it's hibachi. The guy cooks on the freaking grill. It's your, your table is the grill. That is amazing. So I basically got, um, what did I get today? I got a uh, lunch duet, which I basically got chicken and steak. Um, garlic butter. Oh my god, their garlic butter is to die for. I'm just going to spend like 30 minutes talking about um, Benihana's. <laughs> no, I'm not. Alright, so today we basically were celebrating Oscar's birthday, which is tomorrow, which will be yesterday because I upload these a day or two behind schedule. So, um, yeah, Oscar's birthday was yesterday, so make sure to comment below and tell, say happy birthday, Oscar. And yeah, I hope I'll make him watch it. So, um, that's pretty much it. What's your favorite restaurant to eat at? My favorite restaurant is definitely Bunny Hanas. Um, I kind of need a friend for every month of their birthday, like for every month of the year to celebrate their birthday at Bunny Hanas. It's typically the place where I go to like celebrate people's birthday. So if you're my friend, I'd probably take you to Bunny Hanas for your birthday because they make it the experience really, really awesome. All right, let's stop talking about Bunny Hanas. So let's talk about um, how amazing things are going right now. Um, play this off, it's like less than 30 days away. I'm going to New Jersey, New York for the first time ever. And it's gonna be pretty exciting. Um like we may just have to hold that dot. I don't know. There's some people at the front, but let's go. Let's keep talking. Alright, so let's go ahead and 101 secrets for your 20. This uh, this is like secret number 10. It says you grow into growing up part one. Here are 29 signs you're <sighs> an adult. One, IKEA has become your Disneyland. Disneyland I did do a video on IKEA. IKEA is pretty fun. Um, two, 
Sleep goes from being your nemesis, 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 anemanemeni, anemanemeni, um, whom you avoid, to your best friend whom you wish would come over more often. Three, watching three hours straight of your favorite show begins to feel slightly less productive than it used to. Four, you hear a baby crying and your first reaction is not to run, but to help. Five, if all the work emails you've read and written were placed side by side, they would cross the Atlantic Ocean, there and back. 10 p 6. 10 p.m. is late. 11 p.m. is dangerous. 12 p.m. is a.m. It is insanity. 1 a.m. is a fairy tale you remember hearing about in college. 7. Your body begins to ache from your vi vigorous lack of movement. 8. You begin, to, you begin discussions with, can you believe kids these days? Yeah, that line, she, I mean, you hear parents, grandparents, grandparents, parents say it all the time. Can you believe kids these days? Man, they're out there, they're six, seven years old, and they're out there with an iPad or an iPhone. It's like, you know what I had when I was six, seven years old? I had a book, a notepad, and that's what I called fun. Alright, and number nine, that goes from being this fairy tale to be, to be repaid in a land far, far away to your daily reality show. And ten, there's four, a lot more memories of how you're going to feel Sunday morning as you begin to factor into your decision on Saturday night. So yeah, that's what I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick little snap, blah, blah, Snapchat little vlog. I'm really really hyper. I haven't slept since Friday at 5 p.m. So I've been awake for about two three two three days, and I'm hit that overdrive stage where I'm like really really hyper. And I probably shut down somewhere throughout the night. So hopefully I don't because I had to get home by seven to give Oscar his gift. So hopefully he likes it. I got my record player and Muse album, but in vinyl of course. So yeah, good night, farewell, goodbye. Whoa, like slow down, Eddie. You're like talking too fast. I'm like really, really hyper at that moment. Like I'm literally in overdrive right there. So yeah, you guys, make sure to check out my previous vlog. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all that awesome stuff down below. Guys, make sure to wish Oscar a happy birthday down below as well. Thank you guys so much.